Welcome to the Green Biz Studio. I'm Heather Clancy, the Editorial Director, and I am joined today by Edward Palmieri, the Director of Sustainability for Facebook. Hello, Edward. Hi, Heather. How are you today? Great. Thank you for joining us here in the studio. So Thank you a couple for questions me. for you. Um, in September 2020, Facebook set a goal of becoming net zero across its value chain by the end of 2030. So give us some ideas of how you're going to tackle that goal. So Heather, for a couple of years now, we've been working steadily to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions for our operations. In fact, we have a, a goal to reduce those operational emissions by 75% by the end of this year. In September, we announced that we wanna take that goal and exceed it by going to net zero emissions for our operations this year. Mm -hmm. And we're really excited about continuing to drive down the uh, greenhouse gas emissions for operations while also balancing it with carbon removal projects. And as we were coming around the bend for 2020 and getting close to that goal, we wanted to set a new ambition for our value chain, as you mentioned. So by 2030, our plan is, is to be net zero carbon emissions across our value chain. And the way we're going to do that is by taking a lot of the strategies that we've deployed for operations and partnering with our suppliers in our value chain to realize decarbonization, um, switch, switching to different materials, reducing um, carbon footprint wherever we can, and also then balancing whatever is remaining um, in our portfolio by the end of 2030 mm -hmm. with carbon removal projects. Great. Well, thank you for, for providing some insights. One of the subjects that we're talking about a lot is environmental justice and, and how it, it intersects with corporate sustainability. So how is Facebook layering those concerns into its own priorities. Yeah, it's a really important point of sustainability, a really important part of sustainability. Um, environmental justice is something that is really close to all of us on the sustainability team here at Facebook because we know that um, real sustainable solutions, things that are going to help um, improve um, the climate health of the planet and also the lives of everyone living on it, really must mean that we can't leave anyone behind. We need to look at solutions that are bringing everyone along and meeting people where they are um, and driving forward in a way that's going to lift um, everyone up. So as we think about ways to further decarbonize our value chain, we wanna partner with those suppliers to help make sure that the experiences of the workers in um, those factories that are working to bring us all the materials we need to build the things that make our uh, servers run and our uh, infrastructure go, um, we want to make sure that it, it's, a, it's a win for um, all of those folks as well. Uh, additionally, we know that um, engaging with people that use our services around the world will be an increasingly important part of that puzzle. And we think there's a lot we can do um, in the coming years from that angle as well. Well, speaking of engagement, Facebook launched the Climate Science Information Center uh, to focus on sharing verified facts about climate change and address concerns. So can you offer an update on engagement um, and what topics are drawing the most attention? It, uh, it's, a, it's an exciting project, mm -hmm. so how's it doing? Mm, thank you. Yeah, we, um, we launched the Climate Science Information Center in concert with our Net Zero announcement in September. And so far we've launched in four countries, um, the US, UK, France, and Germany. Um, and we will, we will be launching to more countries um, very soon. We've got a roadmap um, plotting out for the rest of the year and then into 2021. And as you mentioned, Heather, um, this is a, um, a dedicated space on Facebook where there's a whole host of climate related content um, that's available to people on our platforms. We wanted to find ways to elevate the voices of authoritative climate science information for people um, on Facebook. Um, and the modules within the platform bring together a host of uh, materials ranging from tips from everyday, you know, for everyday people um, uh, um, in their everyday lives to uh, key facts around climate science so people can understand and interpret the world around them and the things that they're seeing happening very, you know, unfortunately, likely in their communities um, uh, right now and also um, to find ways to explore more um, interesting content, videos and other media that are related to the subject if they're interested um, 
uh, and finding out more. So, so far in those four countries, you know, um, tens of millions of people have been exposed to um, the Climate Science Information Center through the platform. So they have the opportunity to go in and learn more. As we expand to more countries, we will also add more content. And we want to continue to partner with um, these authoritative sources externally. Um, most importantly, the IPCC is one of our um, main, uh, main partners of content to make sure we're really elevating um, climate science information. Great, thank you. So it's this is such a short time. So as a, as a one last question, what can we expect Facebook's sustainability team to prioritize in 2021? Oh my gosh, it's almost here. It's hard to believe it's almost here. Uh, what a wild ride 2020 has been for sure. Um, yeah, as we close out the year and plan for 2021, I think we're really excited about continuing to deliver on the goals we've set, as I mentioned, rounding out our operational goals and really embarking on our 10 year uh, mission for our um, net zero uh, uh, value chain goals. So we need to stand up those programs and continue to deliver um, impact in that way. So we're continuing to develop all of that. And then we're also spending time looking for opportunities to further engage and collaborate um, with the communities around us, whether that's people on the services, whether that's um, nonprofits and NGOs that we work with to help elevate their voices, to understand and bring, uh, understand more solutions and bring people together to um, bring about faster change. So for us, we want to continue to walk the walk through our operational and value chain emissions and also look to use our platform to bring people together to um, learn about and innovate around climate change. Great. Well, thank you. Best of luck on that. And uh, thank you for uh, joining us in the Green Biz Studio. I really appreciate you uh, inviting me to join you today, Heather. Thank you so much and have a great day. Great. I'm Heather Clancy for Green Biz.